Auto Line on the Road from CES is brought to you by our signature sponsor, Magna. Tom Rucker is the president of Magna Powertrain. They've got a lot of action going on. Hello there, Tom. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, my pleasure, John. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm doing well. We're kicking off a new year at CES, but I want to reverse the, the calendar just a little bit because just before the holidays, Magna announced, I think, a pretty significant deal with LG. I think it's all about batteries, but fill us in on some of the details, please. Yeah, John, um, we're really excited about uh, this new partnership we entered with uh, LG and, as you said, announced uh, late last year. So just to give you a little bit more uh, of a feeling about that, you know, here at Magna Powertrain, um, our vision is to supply power to the wheels. And for the most part, we're neutral to the power source, um, which means that, um, you know, no matter what uh, the, the sources for the vehicles, could be a conventional ICE, could be a battery electric vehicle, a mild hybrid, even a hydrogen fuel cell, we have the systems to uh, transmit, you know, the power to the wheels. But at the same time, um, we think it's very critical to be flexible because we believe that there will be space for all kinds of different technologies and configurations in, in the future, right? So, so what we do is we, we have these flexible, scalable building blocks to convert our traditional products like double clutch or dual clutch transmissions to hybrids and um, you know, uh, once we were going through our strategy, it became clear to us that we we would like to have a partner that had a large portfolio on e-motors and inverters that we could leverage for our powertrain systems. And um, as well, as if that partner had, you know, knowledge associated with high volume production of e-motors, that would be ideal. So, so that's that's what we were uh, set out to look for. And that's what we found in the, uh, with LG. I, I've got to imagine that having a partner like LG gives you more of a total systems approach to developing EVs or, or working on parts of it, certainly. Can you uh, give us some inside views of, you know, how you think this partnership can be an advantage for both companies? Yeah, absolutely. And it's exactly what you say. I think it's a really important step for us in our electrification strategy, but but also I think a great fit for our partner. And, you know, from what we could see, I, I think, uh, you know, the investment community uh, looked at it very favorable on both, both sides as well. So uh, for us, it, it clearly strengthens our ability in the individual electrification components for e-motors and inverters. And these are absolutely core to uh, the integrated electric uh, electric drive systems. So if you think about it, we, we believe that about half of the vehicles uh, worldwide by 2030 will have some sort of electrified powertrain, John. So, so I think this joint venture will allow it for tremendous growth for both partners. For us, it will accelerate our time to market and scale in the manufacturing of, of these components, especially uh, of the motors, but for LG, you know, with our software, uh, our mechanical products and our system integration uh, competencies uh, will allow them to grow in that segment as well. Let's talk about some of the other things that you're working on at Magna Powertrain, especially as it ties into CES. Uh, one of the things that you've been talking about is this e-beam uh, electric axle. What's that all about? Yeah, you, as you know, CES uh, starting here, um, a li little bit of a different format format this year for for reasons we all know. But but it is a consumer electronic show, so so maybe fitting that we do it virtually. I think we have a very cool uh, uh, design here at Magna where we're showing an electric truck uh, based of one of our group uh, group's design. And uh, within the truck, from a Magna Powertrain perspective, we're showcasing two products. One is the EDS E-Beam that you just mentioned, and one is our uh, High Voltage Mid Plus. And, and by the way, I'm, I'm very uh, proud that uh, we have two products here that have been chosen as honorees on CES Innovation Awards. Uh, but back to the uh, EDS E-Beam. 
So this is a, uh, an axle that I think the, the great thing about it is you can, it's basically a drop in from the design into um, any solid rear axle truck platform, including light commercial vehicles. So it requires no change to the truck's architecture. And um, it will give you the same towing, uh, towing and payload capacities, the same four-wheel drive and off-road capabilities as a conventional ICE truck. In addition, it'll, you know, with our software capabilities, we can do uh, e-machine disconnect, we can do rear electronic lock, we can engage the four-wheel drive only when needed, and this will give you, you know, a much bigger range in efficiency. I, I've got to believe automakers are open to that idea of a drop-in e-axle, but did you just build it to see what would happen, or how's the market reaction been to this? Yeah, you, you know, it's it's obviously a very competitive uh, market these days. So so we we want to show our customers uh, our products, not only on paper or PowerPoint. We want to be able to demonstrate our capabilities, uh, not only for single components, but our entire system and vehicle um, capabilities. And we take our customers to drive and rides, uh, for example, on, on winter tests in Sweden. So yes, we're not absolutely talking to specific OEMs on this, and there's a there's a high degree of interest for this product. Uh, you, you mentioned too the the high voltage motor that you've got, but I know you've got mid voltage uh, applications as well. Fill in the blanks a little bit for me here as to why you have two different approaches, mid and high voltage. Yeah, so as I mentioned before, John, uh, you know, we, we firmly believe electrification uh, will be the predominant uh, direction here for, for powertrains. But, but within that, first of all, it's not going to happen overnight, right? It's going to take some time. And then there's, uh, depending on geography, on legislation, on customer and cost, uh, consumer preference, there will be place for all different type of, of uh, products. And, and uh, so, so we have a scalable uh, platform with building blocks where we can uh, go all the way. For example, on the mid plus you just mentioned, mentioned we can go from 120 to 160 kilowatt or from 400 volt to 800 volt. And again, depending uh, on the need of the individual customer and vehicle, we, we need to have that ability to scale up or down within the same envelope. Mm -hmm. Well, very interesting, Tom, you know, and what you're talking about here mirrors what's going on in the industry, uh, the march, the inevitable march to electrification. Yeah, I fully agree. I think that I think there are not a lot of people that are, uh, you know, questioning that anymore. It's a matter of how fast and in what uh, specific, you know, architectures it will develop. And, and that's why we maintain that. Uh, we have the ideal setup with our flexible platform, with our partnerships to um, satisfy the needs, not only of our established traditional customers, but obviously also of uh, new entrants, for example, our, our, our new uh, partnership with Fisker that exemplifies that. And with that, we wrap it up. Tom Rucker, president of Magna Powertrain. Thanks for your time today. Thank you, John. Pleasure to be with you.